Today we're going to be reviewing the SOG Seal Pup Knife. So, welcome back folks. I've been meaning to do this review for a while because I've been changing out a lot of items in my bug out bag and basically rearranging a lot of survival gear and um, learning a little bit more on my own about bushcraft and building things myself in the wilderness. So of course it was time to dig out this knife. This is the knife in, that we placed the, uh, the Glock knife that I used to have in my bug out bag. And I will be doing kind of a head to head shootout on them um, in a bit, not the Glock knife but the GI Cold Steel Tonto. Um, just not ready to do that just yet. I'm working on getting some stuff set up in my background, so I, in my backyard so I can do some videos in my own little bushcrafting area. And I'll share that guy with you later. But uh, for now, we're gonna be looking at the SOG, what is it, M37N-CP, or as we know it, the Seal Pop. Give you a good look at the knife. Now, just for information, this thing came razor sharp out of um, out of the box. It is just real sharp. So I've been messing around with it. Um, I haven't done any heavy cutting with it, as obvious. It doesn't have any real damage on it. But I have been playing with it. I have been testing it out um, for for feel wise, for weight wise, and balance. This thing is nice. Um, it won't break your bank. It is made in Taiwan. Um, the steel on this is uh, what is it? Uh, Aus eight. And I have found, even though it came really sharp when I messed around with it on my uh, sharpening sticks, it, uh, it put an even sharper, smoother edge on it. I am waiting on another sharpener to do these, and I will do a review on that for the serrated. Um, so I'm not going to mess with sharpening anymore on this. I really just did it to play around with it. Uh, but I've been pretty happy with it. As far as sharpness goes, let's dig this out. Okay. As you can see, this thing is razor sharp. Oops, ripped a little there. But it's definitely sharp enough to do the job. Uh, it's also cryogenically heat treated. Um, I've seen videos on SOG's website where they're doing, uh, they're trying to break these. And they stick them in of ice and bend them and bend them. And they have them almost, you know, almost 90 degrees and things won't crack. So I think this will serve me well as a uh, bushcraft slash bug out knife. Um... Again, we're going to be doing the Cold Steel, GI Cold Steel Tonto, kind of a head-to-head -head deal on these to see which one would be better in that role. But for now, this is what I have. Now, this also comes with a sheath. Um, I wish they would have offered it in a different color. I'm not a big fan of black being in the desert. Um, if you have anything black on your person, you stand out a mile away. Um, especially if you're all camoed out or if you've got your desert tan stuff on and you're wearing something black and this lives on the back of my new bug out bag so um kind of sticks out a little bit but hey you know what that's cool it is plastic lined in there probably what i'm going to do eventually um is order up a kit from knife kits and make myself a kydex holster for this that's a little uh, a little nicer but for now this will do um inside here i put a striker and magnesium and a very, very rudimentary, simple sharpening stone. Um, in, in the field, this is enough to get me an edge. That's all I really want. And I do have another sharpener coming. The name escapes me at the moment, but it's a really nice one, and it's a portable one, and that's what's gonna be living in the bug out bag. Anyway, I decided to do a little, we did the cutting, I showed you the cutting. I decided to do a little uh, fire starting test with this because the reviews I've seen, um, this thing throws sparks like crazy. Now, I don't have the best ferro rod in the world here that I'm experimenting with because I really just dug it out of the side of a bug out bag. My good one is buried inside, and I didn't want to go through and grab it. But we're going to do a little test here and see what it's, uh, how it works. I um, have set up some tin foil here. And that just probably, no, it didn't, but it blasted the white out of my camera. <laughs> White it out the whole screen. Anyway, I did a little shaving on some fat wood. Um, by the way, I uh, have heard from people that they can't find fat wood. It's really hard to come by. Go to your Lowe's, your Home Depot's, places like that. Go into the section where they're selling the uh, packaged firewood and the fake stuff, you know, the Duraflame logs and stuff. And pick up this. 
This is Fatwood Firestarter. This stuff works very, very well. It's starter stick. It's just pieces of wood inside and it's fatwood. If you can find it, you can also order it online. Um, I believe I got that in Walmart a couple years ago. Anyway, I'm gonna do a couple little shavings. I did a few here already. As you can see, this knife shaves really nice. Just shaves the wood right off that. Now, this is something I've never in my life done. You gotta remember, I grew up a city boy. I grew up in New York City. If we needed a fire, we had matches or a lighter. <laughs> so, this is kind of a new experience for me. I figured I'd do it on camera. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I think that's enough to get me started with a little bit of shavings there. Okay. I gather that together. And I brought my secret weapon for fire starting. And this I have tried. Dryer lint. Dryer lint works very, very well. I'm going to keep it on the perimeter. I have a little bit of magnesium that I've shaved off in there. I'm going to try and start a fire with this. It does throw some decent sparks. Looks like I'm getting some magnesium lit up. Yeah, I'm getting magnesium lit up, but I'm not getting a spark where I want it to be. Yeah, I'm making a mess more than anything. I'm going to have to get a little more magnesium off it. But as you can see, it'll throw a decent spark. Maybe I'm doing it too high. Now, there we go. Had an ember there. Look at that. There you go. Gosh, I hope I got that on camera. <laughs> that is a first for me right here. Uh, there you go. That's uh, that's how quickly dryer lint takes off. Now, you'll notice a little bit of the uh, magnesium sparkling there. And you saw it when I was striking it. It was splashing all over the place. But um, dryer lint is definitely something to have in your bug out bag. Anyway, that's my review for today. Um, I started my first fire with uh, some metal and uh, steel and a uh, ferro rod. I'm pretty impressed. And that is my review of the SOG so far. As I said, we're going to be doing a head-to-head -head on these. Um, I may even bring the Glock knife into it, but I want to build more of a area in my backyard outside um, where I can actually do some wood cutting, move around a little bit more. This is kind of confining doing this indoors in my workshop. So uh, I'll be working on that over the summer, but I definitely want to do a little bit of head-to-head -head chopping, uh, maybe some batoning, see if these can cut through some wood. Um, with this, the GI Cold Steel Tonto, and with the Glock knife, we might as well try it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys soon.